Using a volumetric scatter effect will make your scene look awesome, but it will also add a lot of noise which increases render time. So I'm going to show you how to create the same effect in compositing in Fusion. First of all, let's turn off the volumetric cube and what we're going to need for the compositing is the mist pass. You can go to the shading options to see what the mist pass looks like. But to actually render it, you have to go to view layers and activate the checkbox. Now you also have these settings available in the world properties. All we have to do now is go into the compositing tab and here it is our mist pass. Let's choose a output folder for the final render. But to render our mist pass and our image at the same time, we are going to need a file output node, in which we can just plug in our mist pass. Now the image and the mist pass will be stored in the chosen folders. Now we can bring in our clip into DaVinci Resolve. And let's jump in right into the Fusion tab. And since I rendered this as a EXR file which contains many more information, I need to add a preview LUT up here that converts it from a linear color space to Rec. 709. I provided this EXR LUT for free, just click the link in the description. Then I'm going to add in a color curves effect. And in here I'm going to lift up all of the shadows. And to get this orange haze effect that I want, I'm going to turn off all of the colors except blue and subtract some of the blue colors out of the image. And then I'm going to subtract some green too, which leaves us with this red tinted image. And now it's time to bring in our mist pass. And we are going to add in a Lumakir effect and connect the mist pass to the yellow input of the Lumakir. And now you can see that the Lumakir gives us this alpha of stuff that is in the background. All you have to do now is connect the Lumakir to the blue mask input of the curves. This already gives us this mist effect. You can control the mist with these sliders up here. Now we have to recreate the second characteristic of the volume scatter effect, which is the glow around lights. For that you are going to need the fast exponential glow effect, which is not integrated into the Ridge Resolve by default, but you can get this effect for free if you install the Reactor plugin set, which gives you an entire library of effects for Fusion. There's a link in the description that shows you how to install the Reactor plugin set. So now we're going to add in the fast exponential glow. And we're going to use another Luma Keyer effect and also plug the mist pass into the yellow socket. And we're going to take the Luma Keyer and put it into the gray input of the fast exponential glow. And this basically tells Fusion the further away something is, the more glow it is supposed to have. Doing the volume scatter effect in compositing allowed me to render this whole scene with 30 seconds per frame. Subscribe to the channel if you want to know how to color grade a shot like this. This whole 3D scene was created with Cyberscape Pro, which is a procedural city generator that I created. So if you want to know more about that, check out the links in the description.